My girlfriend and I had talked about starting a salon before and just kind of we're in the beginning of planning things out. I was very pregnant and we saw a Kijiji ad for um, old vintage hair salon equipment. And so we came to see it and we walked into this space that was crazy and filled to the ceiling with furniture. And we said, you know what, let's take it. The salon, it was here from 1962 and closed down in September of 2015. So that is a lot of years and it's a lot of stuff. So there was a man that owned it that whole time. He worked by himself. It was like a hair museum. So we redid the floors. We wanted to keep with the vintage feel because we're very into it. There was a couple of vintage stations. So we just polished them up and kept them because you're never gonna find those again. And they're probably worth either $2 or a million dollars. I'm not sure, but they're pretty cool. So we just basically polished everything up, painted everything, and the salon was here. I think our salon is very different than anything else we have going on in Winnipeg. Um, most salons, and I love them, they're so beautiful. Most salons are modern, lots of greenery, lots of white. Our salon obviously isn't like that. Uh, we have pink walls, we have checkered floors, we, a lot of people say, like, look like a time machine, but it's really, really cute and really, really comforting in here. So I think that we are completely different than anything else. We have record player that plays music. We do our own different styles of hair. We are really big into the vivid hair trend. So whenever we get new clients, they come in and they're like, oh, we see you on Instagram and we see all your bright hair. And while that's not what we do 90% of the time, that's what we're noticed for. And that I think is our trademark me and April who chose the staff and we are friends and you can feel that when you come in. We all get up in each other's work and we like to see what's going on and it's a lot of talking back and forth. My clients know the girls that work here because we're like a little family. It's very close space, very personalized. I like that my clients would typically feel comfortable going to anyone else and that's a really good feeling too, knowing that they could be sent to any of the other girls and have great hair. I think that you should just come check us out. It's such a fun place. It's such a different place in Winnipeg and you can come with a friend and sit and even if you could just come get your hair styled, obviously vivid hair isn't for everyone and pastel hair, but we sure do do a lot of it and people love it and just walk with a whole different bounce in their step when they leave here and we love being a part of that and it's so cool to see our hairstylists out there and see everybody enjoying them.